Hello guys, this is Ravens from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 186. Flipkart teases the big billion days online sale, though it has not revealed the exact sale dates. The online retailer has announced a partnership with Axis and ICICI Bank for sale. Customers can also avail of cash back via Paytm transactions. WhatsApp will now offer end-to-end -end encryption for chat saved on Google Drive and iCloud. None other than the sender and receiver will be able to read the messages. Even WhatsApp and Facebook cannot access these messages. The voice message transcription may also roll out on WhatsApp web. WhatsApp's voice message transcription tool will reportedly require special permissions to function. WhatsApp will hope to continue its dominant position in the market. Geo4 Next is now expected to launch before Diwali. Geo4 Next September 10th launch was delayed due to ongoing global chip shortage. A new report says that Reliance Geo could increase the price of the upcoming affordable 4G smartphone. GeoBook laptop has received the BIS certification. The listing shows there will be three models. GeoBook laptop specifications could include an HD display, Snapdragon 665 processor and a 4G LTE connectivity. Techno Spark 8 has been launched in India. The key specifications include a 6.52 inch HD plus display, MediaTek Helio A85 processor, Android 11 OS and a 16 megapixel primary camera. Techno Spark 8 price in India starts at Rs 7,999. Realme confirmed the Realme GT Neo 2 launch date in China. The phone launches in China on September 22nd. Realme GT Neo 2 design and specifications have been leaked already. The Realme C25Y India launch is just around the corner. The smartphone could be a cheaper variant of Realme C25. It comes with a 6.5-inch HD Plus display, Helio G70 processor, 64MP main camera and a 5000mAh battery. Vivo V23 Pro moniker has been spotted on IMEA database. This phone carries a model number V2132. Vivo V23 Pro launch date is yet to be revealed. Apple will officially introduce the 2021 iPhones tomorrow but the case maker Spigen decided to give us a sneak peek of the Velenath iPhone 13. The device is what we saw in two separate leaks previously, dual cameras placed diagonally onto a square airline into the top left corner. Apple AirPods 3 will debut along with the new iPhone 13 at Apple's California streaming event on September 14th. AirPods 3 will likely sell at a higher price compared to AirPods 2. AirPods 3 will sport a new short stem design similar to the AirPods Pro. Micromax has started rolling out Android 11 updates for its Micromax in 1B smartphone today. The in 1B was launched along with the Micromax in Note 1 as a comeback for Micromax in India. The Micromax in 1B comes with a stock Android, hence it does not have any ads or preloaded bloatware. The phone was launched back in December last year and the users were waiting along to get the Android 11 update. Qualcomm is reportedly working on two new chips for mid-range and budget devices. The Snapdragon SM6375 is chipped to be a gaming-focused chip with support for 144Hz display. The follow-up of the Snapdragon 665 with an integrated 5G modem is also said to be on its way. Lenovo K14 has appeared on Geekbench. The listing reveals a phone would ship with an Android 11 OS, 2GB RAM and an Unisoc processor. Lenovo K14 launch date is yet to be confirmed. The Mizu 18 and 18 Pro were unveiled in March both with Snapdragon and AAA chipset and became available for international shipping later the same month. Now the company is working on a fresh as a Mizu 18s and 18s Pro cropped up on Tina. Then after a couple of weeks ago we also heard a Mizu 18x with a 4200mAh battery and a 36W fast charging support. The lack of infrastructure forces a man to charge his vehicle in his apartment kitchen on the 5th floor. He was denied permission to install a charging station in the parking. This man was none other than the Vice President of Product Management and GM Autogrid India. 10 days ago, Hawaii's Harmony OS 2.0 reached 90 million users. Now the company has reached another milestone 100 million devices have been updated to its in-house OS. These devices formerly ran Android but their owners choose to leave that behind. And Hawaii is currently recruiting beta testers for the 6th wave of Android 2 Harmony updates. It is these updates that causes a number of Harman users to jump to suddenly the company plans to transaction 100 or so devices a process that will continue into 2022. 
Hawaii has launched a new smartwatch in its GT series. Hawaii Watch GT2 Pro has debuted globally last year. The GT2 Pro Moon Face collection let users observe different faces of the moon as it changes. Hawaii Watch GT2 Pro Moon Face collection has launched in India today as it is an upgraded version of the Watch GT2. Xiaomi sub brand Redmi is going to launch its Redmi G2021 in China on September 22nd. And again from Xiaomi, Xiaomi smart glasses have been launched. These glasses comes with a 5 megapixel lenses. Xiaomi has used micro LED imaging technology. These new Xiaomi glasses are capable of displaying messages and notifications and make calls, navigate, capture photos and even translate text. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.